and I keep turning it back on. I can feel the vibration in my hands. Tap and hold the left over two seconds to decrease the volume. Now, even though I did not pay for the product today, that is not gonna stop me from giving my honest thoughts and opinions based on my initial experience using the product. If you do like videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, you share, you do all of the fun stuff, but most importantly, you ring the bell because I hate for you to miss out. Hey team, welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hayden. We're gonna dive straight in. It's Monday, therefore we know if you are new here, Mondays are review days. Every Monday we look at something different, but we typically stick to skincare and fashion for men. We do, however, dabble, which we are doing today in other areas, one of them being electronics. Now, even though I did not pay for the product today, that is not going to stop me from giving my honest thoughts and opinions based on my initial experience using the product. The company Tozo reached out to me via my email and asked me if I'd be interested in trying out one of their products. Obviously, I said yes. And here we are right now. The item that we are looking at today, and I've got it open here so I don't mess it up, is the Tozo Open Ear Ring. Now that's a bit of a mouthful, try saying that 10 times fast. Or if you're going off their website, it's also called the, the Tozo Open Ego. That retails for 149 Australian dollars. There is a 50% sale on right now on their website, and it's currently 75 Australian dollars. I will obviously do the conversion as I always do. If you are unfamiliar, I am a group fitness instructor as part of one of my other jobs that I do throughout the week, which means I listen to a lot of music comes with the trade, have to go over choreography and consistently updating music tracks and all of that, ensuring that every class is fresh. That requires me to listen to music. So if these work, I have actually received some really great headphones in the past from other brands. I'm always happy to have a backup and I do know that my partner Adam is looking for a new pair for himself. So he's hoping. Before we test them out, we're gonna actually read off the website to see what they're supposed to do or what they're promising to do. It has all day comfort, effortless listening. There is captivating sounds, got powerful bass, smart LED display, it's feather light, built to last, 24 hour battery power, adaptive for every moment, whether you're at work, during workouts or on the go. The Tozo Open Earring seamlessly adapts to your environment, letting you enjoy your music while staying aware of your surroundings. I have them in hand. It did take a while from the initial conversation when I got the dispatch notice on the 3rd of September last month. It is currently the 2nd of October. So it did take around three and a half weeks to be delivered. So keep that in mind, wherever you are in the world, it may be a shorter period of time for you. I am obviously here in Australia and that's how long it took. I've got them right here. They come in this itty bitty little box. You can see it's still got the plastic film on it. To say, hey, I haven't been opened yet. And with the film off, we've got the box. It's just your standard matte cardboard. It's kind of got a, like a soft finish. As we open it up, within we've got the manual, a warranty, or a, this one's the warranty and this one's the manual. We have the actual device that houses the earphones and then the charging cable. Now, usually these do come with some charge, but I, I, though I may need to charge it up before we give it a whirl. You can see it's got the plastic protective film on it and that just comes straight off as you pull it. I like the component. I like it's got a bit of weight to it and you can see it has the LED display on the front. It opens up like so. I don't think it actually has any charge so I may need to put it on charge before we try it out. But we'll continue. Within the component you can see the earrings themselves. And that also comes with a little sanitary safety sticker to say I am brand new. That just comes straight off. Okay, it does have charge. As I put the earring back in, okay, I understand now. So the sticker stops it from engaging with the metal prongs on the inside. You can see the front display. When I take this off, it reveals the two little metal dots on the end. 
And when I put this in, the display lights up 100% charge. All right, well, I don't need to actually wait for that to charge to test them out. I'm going to unpair my current headphones and pair with these ones. But before we do that, we should probably check out the manual because I always tend to skip that and then I circle back because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, it is a good thing that I did decide to go back and read the manual because there is an app that you can download in which you have customizable control over your equalizer, bass output. Uh, most of the controls can be customized in the app. There are lots of EQ settings you can choose in the app to optimize your experience while enjoying different music genres, blah, blah, blah. It also enables you to keep up to date with any updates, firmware or software that they require. I don't know why there's two manuals, but the other one has a handy little picture of how you should wear the earring. You can see the inner part, the smallest part goes in the ear and then the biggest part goes behind the ear. But it also has in here, the smart touch control uh, in which you can navigate with music forward, music back, pause, all of that, your volume control, but also you can answer, hang up, uh, reject calls, activate voice assistant, etc., through them, which I find kind of wild. It's got the standard warranty. It's got all of the how to store, Bluetooth pairing, how to make sure that your device is up to date, blah, blah, blah. So there we have them down the bottom, ready to pair. We are connected. Such an odd design how, that that's going to stay in your ear. We'll soon find out, won't we? Just making sure I get this correct. Goes into the ear like so. That does feel very secure. Like that is not going anywhere. God, it's taking me back to when I had earrings. It's very secure. Yeah, they're not going anyway. Let's test this out. I might turn it down because I want to deafen myself. What shall we listen to? I could listen to, I'm trying to learn more choreography for some of my programs. So we might just do that. It's very clear. I like the depth of the sound. It doesn't sound tinny. Wait for the bass. Wow, that sounds exactly like the video clip. It's Pink Runaway, which is part of the new Body Attack release. Very good quality, very clear. I don't hear any distortion. That's really comfortable how they sit in your ears. You might just actually see how loud these Okay, well, 100% I am impressed with these. They were so comfortable in the ear. It took me a little fiddling to kind of be like, and not only just that, just to get used to having it like that. But like even when you have ear pieces with fins, they kind of go up that way or you get the over the ear, but never have I ever had anything where it's like an earring. Very comfortable, really good sound quality. As I was putting them back in my ear, I knocked it and it started playing again. So it prompted me to go back to the manual because I always tend to skip it. Just to read the functions on the left, you triple tap the left to skip to the previous song on the right, triple tap the right to skip to the next song. So left is previous, right is next. Double tap the left or right uh, touch area to play or pause. So it's on the area where it says touch on the big part of the earpiece. Tap and hold the right over two seconds to increase the volume. Tap and hold the left over two seconds to decrease the volume. Calling controls, left or right. Tap the left or right touch area to answer a call. Tap and hold the left or right for two seconds to hang up the call once it's live. Tap and hold the left or right for two seconds to reject the call as it's coming in. Voice assistant. Tap the left or right four times quickly to wake up the voice assistant. And there you have it, it woke it up. I'm gonna have to say it, I'm a fan of these. I'm gonna link it down below. I highly recommend that you check these out. It is really not that expensive. And I'm not sure if they provided a discount code, but if I do have one, it'll be in the link below and I keep turning it back on. I will link everything down below. If you want to check them out for yourself, please let me know what was your experience. Was it a hit for you as it was for me? If you do like videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, you share, 
you do all of the fun stuff, but most importantly, you ring the bell because I hate for you to miss out. Thanks for watching team. Make sure we do everything that's fun, but most importantly, stay tuned.